So last night, Paul Millsap signed with the Denver Nuggets, man. Three years, $90 million. And this team actually does not look too bad. Uh, apparently, the Hawks didn't even offer Paul Millsap a contract. So he was pretty much guaranteed gone, obviously. But this front court is nice. This backcourt could easily get better if the Nuggets sign George Hill. But right now, he's talking to the Lakers. So I don't know exactly what the uh, situation with that is. But... I know you guys are going to see this from like two other YouTubers today, but here we go. Paul Millsap, Denver Nuggets rebuilding video. And I am also using a roster in which I pretty much update the free agency signings as they go. Now, this isn't a roster you can download on 2K Share. If you want that, download uh, Embrace the Paces Draft Class on PS4 2K Share. Um, pretty much what I did is I started from today. Dude, I, get, I, I seriously get this question so many times. How, how I got the rookies on start today pretty much what I did I started from today I made sure everyone had the right draft pick I drafted the correct rookies and then I turned auto save off so I could have one big uh, I could have one big save file so uh, we need a point guard here George Hill we do not have enough money for we're about seven million dollars short of the salary cap that means that we need to get rid of something here um, honestly let's see what can we get rid of here Darrell Arthur for 7 mil. Yeah, I don't want him on the team. No, thank you. Uh, Moutier, I don't know if I necessarily want to move him, but uh, definitely Darrell Arthur. Not going to be on the team. Top 3 protected pick from the Warriors. I think I'm going to do that one unless anyone else offers me a pick. Jordan Mickey, no. All right, so Warriors getting Darrell Arthur's salary because I don't want that at all. I think we might be good to get George Hill now. Not too sure. But maybe we... Oh, we're like 100. Okay, maybe we can still sign him, though. Maybe we, maybe we can still get him. Player option, no trade clause, number one team. And we did go out and sign George Hill. Uh, also brought back Danilo Gallinari. I'm not, I'm not really too sure how I feel about Gallo and Wilson Chandler. But I'm pretty sure I'll figure that out this season. Um, I really like our starting five. It's just, you know, Gallo, I'm not really too sure about. Um, if we're not doing well, I will go ahead and trade both of them at the trade deadline but i think we're gonna do well not too sure though 10 minute rotation let's go simulate to the end of season number one obviously like i just said i um if we're not doing well at the trade deadline then i will definitely start making some moves russell westbrook wins the mvp award here at the end of season number one averaging another triple double this time 12 rebounds 12 assists and 31 and a half points that is just absolutely insane Lonzo Ball, Rookie of the Year. Darren Collison, six man. Hassan Whiteside, Defensive Player of the Year. Yo, 17 rebounds and three and a half blocks. All right. Buddy Hill, Most Approved Player. And Mike D'Antoni, Coach of the Year. Now, we actually did really well this season. Uh, 55 and 27, second in the West. Um, only problem is that, you know, the Warriors are the sixth seed. And if we beat the Thunder with Westbrook and Paul George, we got to play the Warriors, the full strength Warriors. So I don't know why they're the sixth seed. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but these are the standings for the Western Conference this season. The Spurs, 32 and 50. That actually makes no sense at all, but you know, okay, 2K, just keep on doing your thing. The Pacers make the playoffs somehow. I really hope that we don't. And then the player stats on the season. Uh, George Hill, 14 points with about four assists. Paul Millsap, obviously, you know, his points per game is going to be down, but I mean, rebounds still up there, assists, steals, and blocks, and shot pretty well from the field. And uh, pretty good from three-point range for a power forward. So, I am liking our chances against the Thunder in round one. Although, you know, 2K likes Westbrook a lot. So, I don't know exactly how we are going to do against them. Uh, Jeremy Grant, dislocated right patella out for the season. Let's go ahead and win this series against the Oklahoma City Thunder. All right, tie it at one game apiece. 2-1, let's make it 3-1. Okay, 3-1, let's make it 4-1. There we go. So, we don't blow it. But we got to play the Warriors. So it's like, yeah, woohoo, yeah, you guys, you guys didn't blow it. But, I mean, you got to play the Warriors. So I'm not excited about this at all. Really am not excited about this. They added Patrick McCaw back. Well, they didn't really have a choice to keep him. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, Ramon Sessions, Ryan Holland. They still don't really have a center. I mean, they do, but Aaron Baines is out for the season with a dislocated right patella. So... Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this series. I really do not think we are going to win this series. I think we are going to get swept. And look at just, like, look. Oh, okay, 3-1. Okay, cool. But 4-1, yeah. So, in a gentleman's sweep, the Warriors beat us. And the Warriors face the Cavs in the NBA Finals. But the Cavs end up winning as LeBron wins Finals MVP, averaging a triple-double. 
So going into free agency, I would like to have just a little bit more salary cap. So right here, trading Danilo Gallinari and our 27th pick for Tyreek Evans and Joakim Noah. Real quick, though, I'm just going to see if I can do Gallo for Tyreek straight up. Uh, override, I'd still uh, trade override on from trading the guys that signed in free agency. So let's just give you a 2020 first round pick. And they do end up accepting because there's no way I was about to take Joakim Noah's contracts. Now we have $22 million in cap. I'm not too sure if I want Tyreek Evans on the team. Like, I mean, that's still $7 million. I know that's not a lot in today's NBA, but like, I just want to see if I can get a pick for him. That would be great, but not really look like I can get a pick for him. Maybe I could steal a Grizzlies first round pick next year. Maybe I can do that. And they don't even have their first round pick next year. Okay, cool. So let me just trade him for the 12th pick. There we go. Yeah. Well, all right. So we got the 12th pick now. Um, let's try and trade Kenneth Fareed the 12th pick and the 27th pick and see what we could get out of this and wow these are not as good as i thought they'd be right here trading kenneth farid and the 12th pick for the 11th pick and brandon knight now brandon knight definitely will not be staying on the team that's a lot of money and as you guys know i don't want a lot of money on this team i want like at least 36 million dollars in salary cap so brandon knight you are gone let's trade you in the 11th pick maybe we can get the 10th pick i'm not really sure who has the 10th pick but maybe we could possibly get it. I know that the Spurs have the second pick and the Knicks have the third pick. That's pretty much all I know um, about this draft. Who here has the 10th pick and is willing to give me the 10th pick? And, oh, okay. Let's try to get the seventh pick, all right? Trade Brandon Knight, wherever he's at. Trade Brandon Knight and the 11th and 27th pick for the ninth pick. Or the sixth pick from the Bulls. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we got the sixth pick now. Honestly, I think I'm fine with the sixth pick. Like, there's nothing, there's no, there's no player that I really want to draft here. Um, I mean, unless, unless I could trade up to the top pick and get Michael Porter Jr., but I doubt that that's going to happen. So, I'm going to try to trade up real quick, but if I can't do that, then you guys will be, see, never mind. Okay, cool. Um, we can trade up right here. All right, fourth pick. This is 2K's trade finder in a nutshell. Okay, so who has the third pick now? The Knicks have the third pick, the fourth in their top three protected. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then now we got to find the second pick from the Spurs and see if they'll give me the second pick. Oh, there we go. And now we got to go and see who has the first pick. Yo, 2K, fix your trade finder, man. Fix your... Oh, oh and, and Boban gets to be on the team. All right, cool. So we just got the first pick in the draft. All right, Michael Porter Jr., welcome to Denver drafting him with the first pick in the NBA draft. I mean, it's kind of obvious, like, we need a small forward. We don't need a shooting guard, we don't need a power forward, and we don't need a center. So, Michael Porter Jr., welcome to Denver. Now, obviously, yes, we do have Boban. That is $7 million, though. I don't like that money at all. So, what I want to do is just trade him. Like, I know it seems, like, awful from... You know what? Trade him to the Pacers, so that way I can actually feel happy inside. But then I will sign him in next year's free agency for, like, a really, like, cheap deal. Because I don't want to pay him $7 million. Like, listen... I love Boban. I just don't want to, you know, pay him that much. So we have Paul Millsap and George Hill uh, under contracts. We don't have any first round picks for a while. So let's just simulate two free agency and let's see if we can land like Kawhi Leonard or something like that. So Wilson Chandler surprisingly uh, accepted his player option for 12.8 mil. I don't want to pay you 12.8 mil. And we have Michael Porter Jr. So there's really no point in it being on the team. So let's just trade you for two first round picks from the Knicks. One is top five protected. One is top 10 protected. Both in 2021. And, you know, Wilson Chandler goes back to the Knicks. So now uh, we are looking a lot better when it comes to salary. Not really. I thought we would be looking just a little bit better. Uh, 26 million dollars in cap so i can't really do i i can't really do anything when it comes to free agency like i really can't like boogie can't you can't can't get him can't get paul george can't get chris paul i could get Embiid, but there's no point in me getting Embiid unless i get Embiid and trade Millsap. but there's actually no or just get Embiid and then just trade him somewhere Ooh, that's smart okay Embiid. yo Embiid. you know damn well you want to come to denver okay cool we just got joel Embiid. So I am actually not going to trade Joel Embiid. Uh, Paul Millsap is just going to come off the bench as a six man because really, a front court of Jokic and Embiid is better than a front court of Millsap and Jokic. Um, I mean that's kind of obvious right now. So our starting lineup looks pretty nice. Hopefully Michael Porter Jr. can win Rookie of the Year. I doubt it though, but you never know. Jamal Murray, Mason Plumlee, Moutier, Hernan Gomez, 
I like this team a lot. We also drafted uh, Marcus Bolden in the second round. Malik Beasley, Joe Johnson's here. We don't have a good backup small forward, but uh, I guess it's okay for the time being. I guess so. Um, if it's really a problem, then I will trade for a good backup small forward. But hopefully this can be the year where, where we somehow make the NBA Finals. LeBron wins the MVP here at the end of season number two. Luka Doncic wins Rookie of the Year. Really wasn't expecting Michael Porter Jr. to win it because we had so much firepower on offense that there was really no room for him to win Rookie of the Year. When O'Carter Jr. wins six mid, Giannis wins the Defensive Player of the Year. Jabari wins most, yo, 22 points a game for Jabari Parker. Wow. And Andre Miller, our coach, wins Coach of the Year. We did finish first in the Western Conference with a record of 60 and 22. And actually, the Warriors weren't too far off behind us. Uh, yeah, they tied with us with the best record in the West. This is what the Warriors roster is looking like. I mean, Tony Ro Whoa, Steph's hurt. Steph's hurt. Steph is hurt. Two to four weeks. Okay. I'm never, you know, the, the uh, type of person to, you know, applaud injuries. But, like, thank you for getting hurt in a video game. But also, they have Chris Kardashian. So, like, they're probably going to beat me. Uh, the Spurs, they draft DeAndre Ayton, and they get the third seed in the West. So, uh, player stats now on the season. Joel Embiid led our team in scoring. Our front court was beastly this year. Michael Porter Jr., 13 points a game. George Hill, 12. Millsap, basically 11 points off of the bench. I feel confident in our ability to win the championship, but I just really hope we don't have to go up against the Warriors. Just really hope we don't have to do that. Now, we're taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Obviously, they kept... Blake Griffin, uh, DeAndre Jordan, four to six weeks. Austin Rivers, day to day. Not really too worried about this team. They brought back Darren Collison to the Clippers. Pretty sure, yep, he was here in 2013. Uh, but he is out for the year with a torn left Achilles. So we should win this series pretty easily. And of course, we lose game one because that makes perfect sense. But it's fine because we end up winning in six games. And of course, the Warriors still win without Steph. Now we're taking on the Timberwolves. I feel like we could lose this game or, or this series, really. We could lose this series. Um, they added Jeff Teague, obviously, and they did add Zach Randolph during free agency. So this team actually looks really, really nice. I, I don't feel good about our chances, but our front court is pretty beastly. But then again, they do have Towns and whoever else their power forward is, Taj Gibson. Okay, 2-2, two, two, make it through. Okay, good. 3-2, two, 4-2. Two. There we go. Well, let's go. Oh, man, not the Warriors. Like, come on. And Steph's back. So... This is going to be fun. The winner faces either the Raptors or the Celtics. Since I uh, already showed you guys the Warriors roster, I know there's like no point. But just see if there's any injuries. And of course, there's no injuries. So um, this is going to be fun. Um, I actually had an option to trade the number one pick for Draymond. But I said no because there's no point in doing that. Game one actually goes to us. We win by 12. Okay. 3-0. Can we, can we possibly win this? Three don't, don't blow. Don't blow. 3-1. Thank you. Let's go. We didn't blow 3-1 lead. End up winning in six games. We've won each of our three series in six games. Now it's taking on the Toronto Raptors. Okay. Obviously, Lowry came back. So did Ibaka. Um, who else did they add? They added CJ Miles, and uh, that's pretty much it. Game one, we are at home against the Raptors. Let's just go ahead and sweep them and just make this really easy. We win game one. Of course, we don't win game two. Don't. Don't go up 3-1. Okay, good. I like that a lot. 3-2. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and do this with SimCast. And hopefully, I don't have to hop in. But it's not looking like I'm going to have to hop in. Because we just won the NBA Finals this season number two, man. Winning by 10. And the Denver Nuggets have won the championship, man. Jokic, Finals MVP. Almost 16 points. Almost 12 and a half rebounds. Basically, five assists, one steal, one block in six games. Playing damn near 36 minutes a game. Let's go on to season three and let's win ourselves back-to-back -back NBA championships. Markel Fultz in his third season in the NBA wins the MVP award for the Philadelphia 76ers. RJ Barrett wins the rookie of the year as a member of the Dallas Mavericks. Tyreek Evans wins six man on the Cavs. Wow, that's actually not a bad signing for them. Giannis once again wins the defensive player of the year. Kay Felder, most approved player. This man averaged almost 12 points a game. And Andre Miller once again, coach of the year. Now, we made no changes. Like, honestly, we made no changes to our team. Uh, where are the Nuggets players? Nuggets players are nowhere. Yay. All right. Anyway, we made no changes to the team. All I did was add uh, Doug McDermott. And is he even getting minutes? No, he's not even getting minutes. So, uh, like I said, no changes. We should be good for the playoffs. 63 and 19. I'm not exactly sure if that's better than last year or if it's not. Yes, it is better than last year. Cool. 
Um, we are better than the Warriors, obviously. They only went 46 and 36. I'm not really too sure how. Uh, their team is actually not even that bad, and uh, they're 46 and 36. All right, so Brown one taking on the uh, Dallas Mavericks. First of all, let me show you guys player stats because some of you guys will throw a fit if I don't do that. Dallas Mavericks in the first round. Um, I know that they obviously don't have Dirk because he probably retired. Uh, they have Al Horford. Did did they trade for Al Horford? Oh, whoa. He got traded to the Thunder and then from the Thunder to the Mavericks. All right. Anyway, uh, Neuros Noel, RJ Barrett, Trey Lyles. Nothing, nothing too uh, intimidating on this team. So I'm just going to simulate the current round because I feel like we can just... Sw oh, of course the Warriors are right there. Oh, thank you so much. The Warriors blow another 3-1 lead and the Blazers win. Thank you, Trail Blazers. Um, because I was not about to play the Warriors. Like, I get it. They're only 46 and 36. But they could still probably beat us. Uh, they do have uh, Wendell Carter Jr., Zach Collins, Alan Crabb. Nothing else too crazy on this team. So we should be beating them. I mean, like, look at this path we have. The Warriors, who, who in my opinion, are our biggest threats, lose to the Blazers. Third seed loses in seven to the Timberwolves. I mean, that team is still good. And then the Pelicans, who are the second seed, lose to the Kings. So... Um, hopefully we can just sweep the Blazers. That would be really nice as we are going to do so. Okay, no, it's fine though. No, don't tell me we are. Thank you. I was about to say like if we actually were about to blow a 3-0 lead, there was just something wrong with that. Face the Timberwolves again in the playoffs. I think we faced them last year. Not really too sure. Uh, Tyus Jones is now an 80 overall. All right. Uh, Austin Rivers, Darren Collison, Jeff Teague is out one to two weeks with a torn right hamstring, but that shouldn't be a factor for them because Tyus Jones is still pretty good and they have. Uh, Darren Collison, but it doesn't matter because we are on to the NBA Finals and we're taking on the Philadelphia 76ers, Joel Embiid's former team. So they lose Joel Embiid and they still make it to the NBA Finals. Uh, they added Mohamed Bamba, James Johnson, Noah Vonley, Moses Brown, Jaleel is out day to day. Greg Monroe's out one to two weeks. I feel like we should be winning this series. Without a doubt, we should be winning this series. Can we just sweep them? Okay, cool. Back to back NBA championships. For us, as we do sweep them, you know what? Let's see if we can get a three-peat. Why not? Here are the player stats for this season. We did finish 54 and 28, second to the West, and we are taking on the Blazers in the first round of the playoffs. Really, they didn't add anyone else from last year. Like all they did was add uh, Jaleel Okafor. Like that's pretty much all that they added. So we should be able to beat them in this series and uh, just don't blow a 3-1 lead and we're good just don't blow a 3-1 lead and we're good just don't blow a 3-1 lead and we're good let's not blow a 3-1 lead and we're good okay i need to stop saying that okay i think guy uh, yeah okay yeah we're good okay cool so now oh please thunder beat the warriors damn it okay taking on the mavericks now in the second round uh, i'm pretty sure we played the blazers in the second round last year and the mavericks in the first round last year anyway besides the point uh, they didn't really add anything else too crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure we had Juan Hernan Gomez. Did we not? Yeah, we did. I don't know what happened to him. I think I wasn't able to sign him because we would have been over the salary cap. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Oh, 104 to 61. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, we should definitely beat this team. And of course they come back and win game two and game three, but we do tie it up. Let's, oh no, I don't like this at all. Listen, fam, I'm just trying to win me a three peat. So like if we could do that real quick. That'd be nice, but it's not really looking like it's going to happen. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, y'all. Good news. We do have the ball. Um, I think what I want to do is run a pick and roll with Joel Embiid. I think that is what I would like to do here. Um, I'm not going to take... Actually, I'm going to go for a two for one real quick. I'm going to go for a two for one. Hopefully, I can't even get past him. I can't even get past him. I can't even get... Oh, Joel Embiid, go. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, wait. That's... Why are you in the corner? I thought... Oh, my God. I thought that was a shooter in the corner and Embiid fouled out. I thought that was a shooter. It just chilling in the corner. That's not a shooter. Oh, but he misses the free throw. Okay, okay. We are good. Just missed the second one and oh, he missed, he missed two. Oh my God. We actually have a chance here. We have a chance. George Hill streaking in the corner. There we go. George Hill. Bang. Let's go. George Hill in the corner makes it a two point game. All right, y'all. Let's play some defense. Let's play some defense and go to game seven. I need I need to play some good defense here. I'm going to play some on ball. I'm going to play on ball. Oh, what are they doing? No, I am right here. Don't make that game seven. All right, now it's time for game number seven. Do or die. We are at home. I feel confident in it. Oh, what is, what is this? Come on, y'all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. No. Oh, my God, man. 
Uh, how do you give up 36 points in a quarter, though? How do you give up 36? How does nobody on our team? Michael Porter, where were you, Michael Porter Jr.? All right, well, we do not win a 3 P in this video, but hey, we did win back-to-back, -back, and the New York Knicks actually won something for once. Uh, Frank Nilakina wins finals MVP. There we go. Finally figured out how to say his name. Uh, who was even on the Knicks? What the heck? Uh, Porzingis, Capella, Mello finally gets a ring. JJ Redick. Okay. Anyway, that is besides the point. Here is who's on the final championship roster. Well, technically final championship roster like last year because like I didn't change anything on the team. Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., George Hill, Gary Harris, Paul Millsap, Mason Plumley, Emmanuel Moutier, Malik Beasley, Marcus Bolden, Doug McDermott, Jeremy Lamb, and Tim Frazier. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Now, if you don't follow me on Twitter, go ahead and do that, at CSB underscore YT. Uh, that's pretty much where I uh, update you guys on, like, what's happening with my YouTube life. And also, I'm, like, really close to 10K followers, and I really want 10K followers. Uh, also, my new uh, upload schedule is pretty much upload every day, except for Sunday. If that's good with y'all, let me know. If it's not, let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.